And we're back. Hi, Al. How are you? Oh, hair. Hair in the face. Hair in the face. We are back. We are live. Back with a brand new wrap. Oops. Do, 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 do. For some reason, I've got this song from uh, Despicable Me stuck in my head. I'm having a bad, bad day. Even though I'm not having a bad day, I'm having a good day, but <laughs> strange. Do, 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 do. Get a tweet out, get an old tweet going. Ba -da -da -bum -bum. Dino, hello, how are you? Mamma mia, it's Kirsten Ria. <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. I'm doing good. Thank you, Al. Finally catching a midday stream. Welcome back. Hey, Big Memu, thank you so much. I've had a nice little time off. Oh, I still have had a nice time off. I've actually been working this entire time, so it's not like I've had a nice week to just kind of relax. <laughs> I think um, I basically chilled out all of yesterday, and that was basically it. That's the only sort of time off I've had. I've been working this entire time, just been doing different things, which I can't really sort of tell you guys right now. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really busy. So I'm back to doing streams and stuff this week, but I've had to rejig my schedule because basically I kind of need to prioritize um, certain things. And as much as I love doing streaming, um, my main kind of priority is doing like the Patreon stuff um, because that at the end of the day, that is kind of like my full income. So I'm trying to kind of concentrate on like the cosplays and stuff um and doing things like that but obviously twitch is another huge part of my life now that i absolutely love and i like hang out with you guys um so yeah i still will be doing streams um the content is still coming it's just um i've had to kind of rejig my schedule and kind of sort stuff like that out so instead of streaming four times a week i'm only going to be doing it two um but it will be the tuesdays and thursdays so that'll be the same as like what i was doing there's just not going to be any evening streams but i find that a lot of you guys are around there's a lot more of you guys around on the uh, midday streams anyway so that works out well because i get to hang out with more of you guys and more of you guys can kind of catch it so that's gonna be good Yushav, hello! Very early stream. This is usually the sort of time that I stream um, anyway, Yushav. I um, usually do Tuesdays and Thursdays as well as uh, I was doing Monday and uh, Wednesday evenings. But yeah, I just don't have time to do the evening stuff anymore, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Big Mamu. That's so nice of you. I just want to make sure that I can hear everything because I'm not getting uh, any notifications coming through for some reason. Which is a bit worrying. Do I not have uh, notifications on here? I do have alert box. Why didn't that come up as an alert? Hmm. I didn't even hear that. That's very strange. I'm having some problems as per usual today. Um, I've been trying to get... Um... This is turned up, isn't it? Yeah, I've been trying to get... I'm just going to just double check that I can hear. Going to just double check that no, I can hear. I cannot hear. Why can I not? Oh, <laughs> that's why I'm not hearing anything. It's not plugged in, you moron. That's why I'm not hearing anything. It's not plugged in. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay. There we go. I'm such an idiot, honestly. It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Oh dear. There we go. Yes, I've been a very busy bee. Hello, Ethan. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Tomo. Hello, Mighty Glitchman. Is that a wig for the Gwenham cosplay? It is. Yes, I'm going to be doing a Gwenham cosplay. Um, I bought this wig on Amazon. It was just like a cheap one. But oh my goodness, I love it. I tried it on and I was like, oh my gosh, like I needed more of these. So yeah, I've bought like a whole bunch of really nice blonde wigs. Um, I want to try and go blonde, like blonder than what I am because um, I feel like it just, it suits my skin tone better. I feel prettier. I feel <laughs> younger. Um, <laughs> Doug, thank nice you so much for becoming a zombie. Let me scroll down. Let me just make sure that it was you. Yes, you have subscribed for two months. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, I just thought it was really, really nice. And considering it was like £17, I was like, 
That's so good. But yeah, this is my Gwenham wig. But um, I think this is actually going to be my new favourite kind of casual wig to wear because it's just so nice. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple more uh, blonde wigs coming, which I'm very excited for from Sheen? Sheen? I don't know how you say it. Um, I've never bought from there before, but I'm excited to see what they're looking like. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm excited. My zombie family, I've missed you. Dino, oh, bless you so much. Hugo, hey chat. Hope you're doing well. We are good. Mr. Me6, ahoy. Hello, how's it going? Litos, hello, howdy. Uh, who else have we got? You go there. <laughs> I know. I'm such an idiot. Um, loving that top. Very oriental. Thank you so much. This was a charity shop find. Um, I love a good charity shop find. I saw it and I was like, even if it doesn't fit me, I will lose the weight and I will make it fit me because it is so pretty. Um, yeah, I think it's, I thought it was a very good find. Blonde Sushi. Thank you so much, Dossar Wedge. I think it suits me as well. Like, I used to be a lot lighter when I was younger. And as I've got older, my hair has just come through a lot darker. Plus the fact that I don't really get out much. Like, if I get outside and I get the sun, my hair naturally lightens anyway. It, it, it lightens very quickly um but because i don't really get out that much anymore where i work from home and just you know lockdown we've just not had the chance to leave so i've just become very pale and my hair has become very dark and i feel like it just kind of washes me out it's not flattering for me um i'm trying to kind of grow my hair and kind of wear it more naturally and i just think that it's just it doesn't do much for like my complexion and stuff and uh yeah i just feel instantly more happy and prettier when I have like blonder hair and um yeah like I don't want to go like stupidly blonde I think this is a really nice color but even like a little bit of darker than this would be I'd be happy so <laughs> Mitchy glitch it Mitchy glitch man is gifting a tier one sub to the community thank you so much who did you give that to 11 oh my goodness 11 subscriptions that's so kind of you thank you so much to just Jason that's so sweet of you thank you Greg hello how's it going I've just seen you there asking for a wig I guess it's time for a, morn a morning yeah, wiggle. Pretty... Dino, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kalein. That's so sweet of you. Good morning, Dark Llama. Hello. Well, afternoon. Yes, it is. Got to say that the way you've grown your hair makes it really gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, Litos. Hydrate, Big Mamu. I do have a hydrate and I'll get a wiggle in for you, Greg. Got to shoot. Just stopped in to say hello. Okay. Hello, Greg. And have a wiggle. Here we go. You can see my lovely outfit, even though I'm, I'm kind of unpopping here. It's it's really mismatched. I've got uh, starry trousers on and a, a, a like a very oriental top, which is going to pop open. But here, have a wiggle. Here you go. A wiggly woo, a wiggly woo, a wiggly woo. And how do you do? <laughs> that needs to be my new wiggle song now. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, hopefully I don't burst open at the seams. I'm going to move in a bit for, for further just in case that happens. But yes, we have a hope train going. So let's keep it going. Um, Lam, oh, Lamba, Lamba. Okay, Lama, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Dark Lamba. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Yay, mismatch is in nowadays. I know it's funny, like when I was a kid, like it was like, oh, you know, you can't mismatch, you can't mix prints and stuff. But now it's all about mixing prints and just, to be honest, I just wear whatever I'm comfortable in. And and if I feel pretty in it, then that's just like an added bonus. <laughs> Dino, that's thank you pretty. so much for gifting some more subs to Moister. Thank you so much, Moister, Moister, Moister. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I mentioned I'm going to be playing at Tomb Raider Legends today. Um, How fortunate no, Tomb Raider for you! Anniversary, sorry, uh, Mr. Meesey. Thank you so much for the 200 beers. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing some Tomb Raider Anniversary because as much as I've been really enjoying How the fortunate version, for you. technically retro. Thank you, Ethan, for the 200 bits. Mwah! Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I really wanted, because it's, like, it's my first time back in like a week, even though it feels way, way longer. Like Everyone was like, I haven't seen you in ages. I was like, How fortunate week, for you. It feels so much longer. Oh my goodness, Booker Jetta, thank you so much for Booker. Thank you so much for the 3,000 bits. My goodness. That's amazing. Thank you so much. That's so generous. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. That's really sweet of you. Thank you so much for 3,000 bits. You have just boosted that hype train up like what's it called it's like over nine thousand. it's just like it's gone level two complete thank you so much that is amazing oh my goodness thank you i'm, I'm so glad that I, I really hope you stick around because we're gonna have a good time i'm really excited for some anniversary pretty. anniversary and legends were my favorite tomb raider games because it was like the first ones that they really started to kind of overhaul into like the newer generation um and i have some really fond memories but i thought if i played anniversary a lot of anniversary i think was based on the first few um games on the playstation so we should have some 
fond, maybe fond slash not so fond memories of the game that we have been playing. How fortunate and, um, for you. Oh my goodness, you guys. 300 bits, thank you so much, Mr. Meeseeks. And Dino, thank you so much for all the subs that you are gifting. Welcome everyone that is new here to Tomb Raider Legend, uh, to Anniversary and to my channel. And um, we are a fantastic community. If you have been gifted a sub, you have officially been bitten by one of my zombie members of the Horde. And you are Arr. now Arr. part of the family. Honestly, we are all friendly here you can talk about anything with us if you ever have any problems whether that's mental health related fitness just want to tell us about what you've had for breakfast you can do so we are all here for you and uh yeah we are we are always here to talk if you need us and we're also here to just have a good time make fun of each other and just be silly and stupid and not plug your headphones in because <laughs> i'm an idiot but uh it's gonna be good tanny hey hey how's it going how are you um, Legacy Tuba, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, Legacy Tuba, for the follow. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Let her breathe. <laughs> Kebab Jerry, thank you so much for being here. I think the, uh, there's a lot of new faces that I have uh, just noticing now. Um, but yes, I don't tend to breathe a lot. Um, I basically was doing some um, sort of stuff, uh, research and stuff the other day. And um, I, although I haven't been diagnosed with it, I think it's highly likely that I might have um, ADHD. Um, and I think that is why I tend to not stop talking and also tend to get very loud. Um, so again, haven't been diagnosed with anything, but I am going to just do a headphone warning straight off the bat. I do scream, I do not stop talking and I do get very loud. So just prepare yourselves for that. Um, I am not gonna change. <laughs> that is just how I am. It's something I do un un subconsciously, I guess. It's just something I do naturally. And uh, yeah, so um, I do tend to say like a lot as well. If I'm talking about something, I get very passionate about the things that I talk about. So yeah, if you don't like that, um, then I am sorry. <laughs> you are more than welcome to leave, but that is what is going on. So we are going to be playing uh, Croc. I have ADD. So there we go. I think it's there's so many of these things that are just so common now. And again, as growing up, I wasn't like I wasn't even diagnosed with um, my panic disorder and anxiety disorder until like much later on in life. And I'd actually had them basically for as long as I could remember. I've just was never diagnosed. Um, so I think if I actually sat down and properly discussed like, you know, all of the things that were going on in my life. There's probably a lot of undiagnosed things that I would sort of find out. But um, yeah, it's not something I've been diagnosed with, but the um, symptoms and I guess the mannerisms of it are very uncanny with uh, how I am as a person. So uh, it's interesting. I find it very interesting. But again, I haven't been diagnosed with anything, but I just thought it was very, very interesting and something that I should just let you guys know. Um, How you know, fortunate for really you. And I do not stop talking. Thank you, Ethan, for the 200 bits. That's so sweet of you. Lita, so I got diagnosed with ADHD when I was 10 years old, almost 30 now. And it's kind of good for something, especially with the one... Uh, that you get very invested in. Yes, I think there's certain things, um, I think with every sort of, almost most mental illnesses, I feel like there is always kind of like a silver lining for some things, you know, it might make you more cautious, it might make you, um, you know, overly attentive to some things, it might um, allow you to um, learn things quickly, but obviously there is always going to be sort of downsides to things like, uh, you know, mental illness. But yeah, I feel like, I, I mean, I always try and find a silver lining in things anyway, so. That's just me. We love you just the way you are, Lady Rhea. Thank you so much, Dino. That's so sweet of you. Right, that shirt is very cool and it really suits you. Thank you so much, Chris, and hello to you. Right, we are going to get in and play some Tomb Raider Anniversary. So I have tried to get this working a couple of times, so I'm gonna try and get it up. Um, I'm gonna switch over to this, but I am gonna try and get it up now, just because uh, for some reason, Tomb Raider games just really struggle to work. Like once you've get it, got it up and loaded, um, it's okay, but if you try and then go out of the screen to do something else, um, it struggles to, to work and it crashes. So I'm gonna get it up and loaded now, and I'm hoping that the game is going to detect it. <laughs> if not, I'll have to do a little bit of tweaking, but we shall see. Isn't detecting it, so that's good. <laughs> Oh no, there we go, yes. So hopefully you guys will hear it as well. Hopefully I will hear it. There we go. Right, let me know if anything does need to be boosted. I have How boosted fortunate it to a for you. Uh, sort of size. 
Night, Night Glitch Man, thank you so much for the 100 bits. How are you these days? I am very good. Um, if there is any questions that you guys want to ask me, um, if you have been following me on my Instagram and Twitter, you will know that I did actually leave What Culture recently, and there have been a whole bunch of people asking me questions about that, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and to um, as as much as I can at the moment. Uh, I feel like I don't want to answer too in depth sort of questions and there's certain things I don't really want to answer I don't feel comfortable answering because I don't feel like it's the right time so I'll try and answer as many questions as I can if you have any about anything um, I feel like taking this week away has just made people just really curious about a lot of things and they're like what are you doing what's going on you know did this happen did that happen why did this happen so um, yeah I'll try and answer it as many questions uh, as I can if you're interested um, but honestly we'll go to Clark um, but honestly, a lot of it is just very, it's just very straightforward, so. Kirsten, it says legend in the title. Oh, crap. It does say legend. I completely forgot. Ah! Okay, Miss let's Croft. see if I can quickly change it. Through. Pardon the mess in the foyer, but a rather large shipment of antiquities arrived while you were out. I would have had the crates placed in the gallery, but the security alarm has somehow been activated, locking the room from the inside. If this was not concerning enough, the renovators have shut off the water supply to the entire manor in order to continue construction of the pool house. Oh, I forgot that in this On the bright side, so I've located your missing mansion, journal and returned like it to so its appointed hiding place you in your room. In the Faithfully in your this service, This is just like a little Winston. training area that you can properly, you know, there were so many like hidden things that you could unlock. Oh man, I love this game so much. Okay, I have updated it, so hopefully that is fixed. Sorry about that, guys. I can't, for some reason, I just got really confused as to what I was playing here. But, oh, man, I love this game so much. Oh, it's been such a long time. Okay, maybe we should get in and play the actual game. And we'll go back and do um, some Croft Manor later on. Um, because I completely forgot that, yeah, this is like a whole section within itself. Um, game's a bit loud. Uh, game's louder than you. Oh, no. Okay, I'll try and go in and change it. There, it, it probably will crash. It does sound quite loud, so I'll go in and change it. But it just uh, it doesn't like me making changes. There we go. Um, Kebab Jerry said, what happened at what culture? Um, very easily. Uh, I basically um, wasn't happy at what culture. And um, I decided to um, apply for another job. And I applied for a job at what mojo? What watch mojo and uh they got back to me saying that they were actually looking for some um freelance voiceovers uh artists and presenters and uh had a meeting with them on a call and uh, had a big old chat and uh we all got along really well they are all really really nice super super lovely people really just genuine lovely people very supportive very friendly and uh, yeah we all got along very well and basically they offered me a job so um that's basically what happened there is uh i chose to there was a lot of people that were like did you get fired i don't know why um maybe it was the way i worded things or maybe it was the fact that i wasn't as active on what culture but there were so many people that were like oh okay so you got fired like oh i guess you got fired then like oh that's so sad i'm so sorry they let you go and it was like no <laughs> It was my decision. I chose to leave. I basically applied for another job. Is that better? It still seems very loud. Um, yeah, I applied for another job and um, yeah, and that's that's basically what happened. I chose to leave of my own accord. So um, I don't know if it was the way I worded it or if just people just assumed. But yeah, I was a little bit upset and a little bit hurt that people were just like, oh, okay, they're probably fired. I was like, guys, come on. <laughs> manual grab. Oh, do we want manual grab? With my history, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> That's loads better. Okay, it still sounds very loud in, in my head, but um, I think it's just because I've got it turned up. But as long as it's okay for you guys. Hi, Kirsten, loving the hair. Thank you so much, Fletch. Miss Murder, yeah, it's a good area for learning the mechanics without much danger. Yeah, I know what you mean, Miss Murder, but now, I know a there's a lot of... Uh, get that sort of attention from you? There's a lot of, like, hidden stuff that uh, you can do. It looks if really good. You want, it looks a lot better than what I thought it was going to look. Sounds like fun. Can you lock her butler in the but freezer? I don't think you can in this one, Gary. I don't think Lara that Croft, the butler is in this of remake. You're at Watch Mojo. I love that channel. Yes, Kebab Jerry. I am. I have moved to Watch Mojo. So I think my first video. What's going on with the hair? And I believe that with the right incentive, you're That is a strong wind. I'm afraid you've been misled. 
I only play for sport. Which is I only play for sport. Oh, there we go. It's kind of, oh, kind of sorted itself out. Maybe not. It's got, it's got a mind of its own. Um, but yeah, my first video is up on Watch Mojo right now. Um, it is a uh, top 10 things that in SpongeBob make no sense, and it was uh, a lot of fun to do. I love SpongeBob, so. The Phil Kabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Congrats on the new job. Thank you, Moister. We're happy for you. Thank you so much, Ethan. Um, where what culture being Don't shitty about working there and being a content creator for yourself as well. They did that a year ago um, as well. We'll look forward. No, dog. Uh, it was nothing to do with that at all. It was simply just because of the fact that I um, just wasn't happy. They um, never mentioned anything about me being a content creator um, in my own time. It was nothing to do with that at all. Um, it was just down to the fact that I just um, was no longer happy at the company for my own reasons. Um, and yeah, just chose to move on to something that was better suited for me. And uh, yeah, enjoying it so far. It's amazing. Is Mojo a top 10 channel? Watch Mojo is a top 10, top 5, top 20 channel, I think. It's uh, a mixture of a mixture of things. Congrats, thank you so much, Daniel. I wish you nothing but the best of luck with them. I'll be watching them a lot more now that you're with them. Oh, thank you so much, Dino. That's true. I wish you and your son the best of luck. Oh, so I thought you were talking to me, Croc. I was like, I don't have a son. <laughs> wow, uh, Natla, magic hair. <laughs> yeah, she's, she had she had definitely had magic hair. Afternoon, Lugathy, how are you? Why are you dressed like a 1800 cool girl in Japan? Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm just dressed as myself with a very adorable a beautiful top that I found in a charity shop um, oops Joker hello ding dong Joker and Harley here to greet one and all how are we hello I've just realized as well that you have just donated 500 bits as well Joker I didn't see that thank you so much congratulations on your new job with watch Mojo. we are so happy and proud to see our favorite zombie queen moving up in the world also me and Harley have missed you and all in the chat last week didn't feel the same without you all sending some zombie Joker and Harley love to you all oh, thank you so much Joker we missed you and honestly I missed you guys I can't believe it's only been a week it feels so much longer like when people were messaging like we miss you so much and I was like oh bless them yeah you know it has been such a long time and I thought actually no it's only been a week it feels so much longer you know when you're used to doing um when you're used to doing oh it's, it's giving me um controls for uh okay that's crouch oh oh I forgot I have that um no nope, not that <laughs> Uh, control. Okay. Oh, that's gun. That's gun. That is also okay. Um, I thought I had auto grab on. <laughs> I can't seem to figure out how to grab. I thought it was Y. Maybe it's Y. It's not Y. Control to grab the edge. Okay. Why are you giving me? Controls that are not correct. Gamepad, there we go. Um, can you not at least let me know? No. Ah! No! I don't want to disable that! No, I don't want to disable the gamepad! <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, because you're really, you really not going to let me know. Oh, I can activate cheats. I don't have any cheats. Okay. Oh, crap. Does anyone remember what grab is on uh, the Xbox controller? I really don't remember. Um, you don't have a son yet. I know. Give it time. Give it time. <laughs> Ooh, it's warm. Just kidding. A good look. The bit, the wig is too much, though. Uh, I disagree, Kebab Jerry. I disagree. I love the wig. I think it's very pretty, and I like it on. So I disagree with you there. Um, Hugo the Outlaw. Has anyone played Final Fantasy VII Remake? Really? Like, if so, any tips? I've never played Final Fantasy. Why? Jump towards the wall. Am I jumping towards the wrong wall? No. Ooh. Okay, already having issues. This is not good. <laughs> Mr. Me Seeks, thank you so much for being subscribed for two months. Watched so many tips on it and it just go it just does me on the final stage. <laughs> Hola Soshi, hello, how are you? I thought I had auto grab on anyway. She is not auto grabbing. 
I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> awesome news. Massive congrats on your new job. Oh, and welcome back. Thank you so much, Oliver. Thank you so much. Absolutely love the wig. It looks elegant to me. Oh, thank you. Luke, uh, Luke hello. Welcome back. How is everyone? I am struggling to friggin' grab here. Maybe if I go this... No, she's not going to grab onto that, is she? Oh, okay. She's flying. Oh. <laughs> okay. Having some issues. Having some issues. I might have to quickly look up what grab was on the Xbox controller. Uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Because it's telling me to press control and I can't, I can't do both. Uh, Xbox controls. Can he do both? Are you really not going to tell me? Are you really not going to tell me? What are the controls? Okay, what does... Jump towards the wall and press and hold control. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Ah, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, it is RB. <laughs> press E repeatedly in time with Lara's movements. I don't know what E is supposed to be. Move in the direction of the ledge and press space for a lateral jump. Okay, I'm just going to continuously hold down RB. <laughs> Hopefully she won't die. It's strange that it lets you have the... Um, it lets you use a Xbox controller, but it's not going to calibrate and tell you the right controls. It's very interesting. Hmm. Ow! Thank you so much for being subscribed for two months. Currently on a two-month streak. There you go. Good, just filling in my Animal Crossing island with Mario. Oh, I saw these things as well. Um, I went on to um, Animal Crossing the other day. And, uh, yeah, I haven't been on there in months. And um, I, it was not, it was, yeah. <laughs> it was still Halloween <laughs> from, like, last year. And I was just like, ah, crap. <laughs> that backpack is way too small to carry. I know, it's too, sm too, too small to carry anything. Completely forgot about the uh, the tiny backpack that she has. This seems like a really chill community. It is kebab, Jerry. We are a very very chill community. As long as you're not being an asshole to anyone, then you know, and you're not hurting yourself or anyone, not being offensive or anything like that. A lot of the time, we are just very like cool, chill, whatever. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Lara doesn't address appropriately for any conditions. That is very true, Vision. <laughs> Dino, thank you so much for gifting us up to Kebab Jerry. There you go, Kebab Jerry. You are part of the family now. Welcome to the family, son. You are part of the zombie horde. Welcome. Welcome. Press space while swaying forward to jump further. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. And that is... Okay, E is Y. Everyone remember, E is Y. Oh no, this is where we get attacked by wolves. My poor guy, my poor guy. Lara gives no shits. She definitely doesn't <laughs> miss murder. She does not give any shits. I'm afraid to start Animal Crossing. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid to go back to Animal Crossing. I literally went in for all of like five minutes just to check in, make sure people hadn't died. And I was like, oh no, this is, this is too much. This is going to take too much effort. So I logged out and I was like, I'll, I'll go back to this another day. I've been playing... Uh, I downloaded Going Under onto my um, Switch and I absolutely loved it. Um, managed to get through all of the bosses and all of the areas. I'm now in the underworld. Um, very, very interesting. Way more difficult than before. So uh, yeah, I've had to give that a rest because I was getting um, really, really upset. <laughs> Dino, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Bujin. Thank you so much. You have gifted, Dino, get this. You have gifted 60 subs to this channel. Shout out to Dino, everyone. Send him a whole bunch of zombie love because he is spreading this zombie virus like... Well, like a virus. <laughs> he's, he's doing amazing. Only 60? <laughs> Only Tomb Raider I never finished was Angel of Darkness. Yeah, I don't think I've even played... Um, I didn't play like the little um, sort of mini ones that came out. And I don't think I ever played... Uh, I don't think I ever completed Underworld. Um, there's a lot of Tomb Raider... 
the little games that I never properly um, finished. Uh, even the ugh, even the very um, beginning one. I think I only ever really completed uh, Legends. And then the newest ones, like the really, really new ones, which I can't remember the names of because there was um, a few of them. But um, yeah, I never properly completed um, the first game, which is why I was playing it on uh, Retro Tuesdays. But they're just so finicky, so I might have to go through and relive the first few games with uh, Anniversary and uh, Legends. Because uh, <laughs> even though these are apparently still finicky because it's not telling me the proper names for things. Dino, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Miss Murder. See, Miss Murder, there we go. You are back at it again. You are back in with the crew. Um, I need to get back on my Switch. I know. Once you like probably get back on the Switch, it is so like addictive. Like I must have sat there and played. It's because I was coming back from um, London and um, I had like a two-hour train journey, and I didn't want to just sit there and do nothing. So um, I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to download Going Under, and I'll properly commit to it. And oh, yeah, that was. Yes, look, fly up, there we go, <laughs> crap. Um, yeah, I wanted to properly commit to it on the train journey and uh, actually it was so much better, like on the way, oh crap. Um, on the way up there, I actually almost had a panic attack because I was traveling um, at night. And um, yeah, it's been such a long time since I've been to London in general and especially traveling on my own. I've never done that before, um, anywhere. Uh, like I think I've been, like I've driven to London, but not on like a train. But honestly, with the whole pandemic, it's so, quiet and so chill and it was like really lovely and warm so um it was actually really really nice um and really simple and really easy um is there a thing or should i just be like running and jumping no there's no way i'm gonna get up there <laughs> okay that killed me apparently um good at least there's auto saves um am i not going the right way should i be going up there or Maybe I'm going the wrong way. It seems like that room is a room to a a secret, so maybe I am going the wrong way. We'll find out. We'll soon find out. Big boy crew. What's going on with Lara's hair? Is Steve standing behind her grabbing it? I know it's definitely there's definitely uh, some <laughs> some struggles going on with uh, some hair physics in this game. <laughs> at the moment if physics in general again this is on steam so this has been ported to steam so i think there is going to be some clearly there's some issues um even though it's allowing me to play with my controller it doesn't seem to recognize the controller um which is very interesting sounds are also a little off um and yeah her pony <laughs> her plat seems to have a mind of its own very interesting. Um, yeah, things are definitely off, but hey, at least it's playable for now. Um, what's going on with Lara? Oh yeah, he said, uh, what's going on with Lara's hair? Played Smash Bros with Luke the other day and had so much fun. Need to play some more of that again. Oh my goodness, so I played um, Mario Kart for the first time in ages the other day uh, with a group of people. It was so much fun. But also I played um, Mario Tennis. They are, when they're... They're like flicking around. They're freaking out. <laughs> um, yeah, I played Mario Tennis the other day and uh, I've never played Mario Tennis and it was so much fun and I was oh, really tempted to buy it, but it's like 50 quid on the um, the old Switch. So, uh, okay, climb up. There we go. Um, so I was like, uh, maybe not. I'll save up for that. Maybe get uh, that at a later time. But it was so much fun. I had so much uh, fun playing. I played as, uh, as um, Rosalina and uh, I had a good time. It was really, really fun. Can't go wrong with a with a Mario game. I I think they're just they're just too good. Okay, here we go. She's got it. She's got it. You're not gonna make that, are you? Okay, no, we're going round. We're going round. Only been to London a couple of times. I made the mistake of driving through Kensington when I want to, when I went to the Royal Albert Hall a few years ago. It was completely nuts. Yeah, I don't. I think I've only ever <clears throat> like not me personally, but I have been driven uh, with like my family to. Um, uh, to London before we went to the National History Museum and it was crazy but again I think if you wanted to drive there now it's definitely a lot better like it's still busy on the roads considering like the whole pandemic situation but it's not as busy as I remember I think if you are going to travel to London for any reason I mean obviously you shouldn't be traveling unless it's for work anyway um, but if you are to travel to London at the moment it's a lot better um, I feel like I've gone the wrong way again. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot. Ah! Okay. <laughs> it's definitely a lot better. It's just, it's, I, I think I uploaded a picture onto my Instagram, onto my stories, um, showing you guys the train. It was just completely empty and it was honestly just really relaxing and just really nice um, to have up or down. Can you take me down? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. They're going to fly away. <laughs> Why do they do that? Why do they do that? That's okay. I don't know what's going on with the bats in this game, but okay. Um, yeah, it was like completely empty and it was just really relaxing because like the um, it was just really quiet. Um, it was like a really... Are you, are you not going to move? You can go. It's not. It's not there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just really quiet, really relaxing, and what was nice is that the trains were like really warm as well. So I think I was trying to watch something on my phone at the beginning, but where it was like dark and I was really worried about traveling on my own, I was like freaking out and having panic attacks and stuff. But um, when I actually got to like when I had to return the next day because I kind of knew where I was going. It was uh, a lot easier and I was a lot more chilled out and uh, yeah, just played going under the entire time. Where am I supposed to be going? Is this just like a, a hidden area? Am I not supposed to be going this way? Hmm. Kalein, hello, how's it going? I drive an electric car so being, so getting to London from North Wales would be a pain in the bollocks. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, I actually uh, spoke to my Uber driver. Had a uh, he just got a electric car. Okay, maybe not. So is this is this the way? <laughs> Do you know the way? I don't know the way. Hmm. Looks like we have the most. How it looks like we have most of the best of the what culture crew here. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's amazing how uh, how many of you guys have like obviously followed over from what culture. It's lovely that you guys have chosen to kind of come over from there too. Tell me where to go, game, because this doesn't... Uh! This doesn't seem to be taking me to the right place. This just seems like, again, an extra area to... to get like a little... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fair dues for you doing it. it. Can be intimidating traveling by yourself, but you did it. I know. I was really proud of myself, actually. Um, there was a few people I found. They were like, oh, "I'm really proud of you traveling all by yourself." I was like, "I know, me too." But again, I think if it was completely different, like if it wasn't pandemic times, I I would have been freaking out. But due to it just being so quiet and chill, it made it so much easier. Especially when you are traveling with like luggage and stuff. Um, you know, you're just thinking, great, great, I've got to, like, fight for a place to sit. I've got to find somewhere to sit. I've got to try, like, there's a possibility that I might be standing up for two hours on this train. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere that it, to go, though. That's just taking us... Okay, I'm going to leave this room. I don't think this is correct. <laughs> that, is, that is not correct. I don't think that's right. Where does this go to? Should I be going up here? Is this another secret room? Nope, that's nothing. Okay, it's got to be back here then. <laughs> There's me like, oh, I'll play this game because it'll be easier to play compared to the, uh... Oops. Compared to the original, but actually it's just as difficult because it's still not telling me where to go. Uh, glad you're doing well. Missed your smile and lovely personality. Oh, thank you so much, Kalein. That says a lot about a person when people watching them on one stream decide to follow them on another. Yeah, it's 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 lovely. It's it's nice to know that you guys uh, <laughs> can put up with me for long enough to actually watch me on here too. <laughs> ah, okay, come on, Lara. We got this. I think her hair is definitely it's doing a thing. just too far I just don't think that's taking me the right way that just seems like it's taking me to just a secret 
and it just keeps killing me anyway. That does so much damage, why? No, no. Hmm. Hmm, I'm a bit lost. Oh, should I be climbing up there? That doesn't seem correct, but I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh, oh, okay. Is this just gonna stop the, the shooting? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe this will. Hey, okay, we stopped the shooting. <laughs> but that still doesn't... <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, anniversary still confusing me. Still confusing the hell out of me, even to this day. Hmm. I think I remember where we're supposed to go. <laughs> Kibble, hey, how's it going? I don't know how old you are, but traveling alone is a life-changing experience. Yeah, it is. It's very... I mean, again, I'm not talking... I've never traveled, like, further than, you know, to London. That's it. Like, I've only ever gone to, like, sort of London areas on my own, um, whether that's driving or by, like, train. Um, but, I, yeah, I would be terrified to go, like, properly, like, traveling around the world or something or, like, to a different country. That would be terrifying. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. Um, and obviously, like, being a woman as well, it's always a lot more intimidating and, yeah. Scary stuff, scary stuff. Because of you, Kirsten, I've befriended so many wonderful and amazing people and I'm in such a happy state of mind. I never thought I'd be in again. Aww, you joining what culture has been has had a huge impact on me. Dina, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. This is what makes me so happy. It's like, not only do I get to hang out with you guys, but it's so nice to know that you guys get to hang out with each other, like, on my Discord and in the streams and stuff, because we are just a really awesome community. You guys are amazing. And it's just so nice to see you guys bonding with each other and hanging out with each other and just getting along so well and just seeing the impact that you guys have on each other's lives as well as my life. Um, it's amazing, I love it. I, I think it's amazing that you guys just are just such awesome people that you get to be able to, you know, hang out with each other and just have an all round good time, man. I've got to be going over there, but there's nothing to hang on to, is there? How do I get over there? Or did I get over there? No, I did get over there, right? Where am I going? No, there's definitely nothing. Oh, down here! <laughs> Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. Good old Lara Croft. Good old Tomb Raider just trolling the players. Giving us no indication of where we're supposed to be going. Thank you. <laughs> As I've said before, Lara, I love you, but my God, do I hate you sometimes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, wait, if I kill the, are they gonna fly around like the, the bats do if I kill them? Let's, let's, let's find out. <laughs> No, they're a bit better. They are a bit better. Any more? Any more? Just the two? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with the bats then. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're already flying and the game just doesn't know what to do when they die. It's just like, should, should they keep flying? I, I guess they should. 30 in September. You have to travel alone soon. It will change you in a good way. Ah, oh, kebab. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth oh! doing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's been, you have to be safe. Obviously, don't go traveling alone if you're not comfortable doing so because it's not something that I would be comfortable doing. Um, but, you know, if that's something you've always wanted to do, then yeah, do it. Here we go, here we go. We're making progress. Right, I know there is a... <gasps> Can I jump over there? That is the question. No, I cannot. Oh. Whoa! Come 
managed to avoid the bear in the original game, but I was trying to get to that. I thought there might be a, a health kit in there, which I very much need because I'm <laughs> not doing well. Um, maybe I can swing over there with my, with this. Let's see. Possibly. We do need it. It looks like a big boy. It looks like a big boy. <laughs> Oh, Kirsten, I meant to send you a whisper. You need to try out core games. You can build your own game, but also there's a ton of free games to play like Farmer's Market and Freeze Tag. Okay, I'll have to have a look. Okay, go. Grab. She did it. She did it. She's okay. <gasps> oh, goodness. Is it worth it? Oh, no. Am I going to die if I jump down there? This is the issue. <laughs> this is an issue. Uh, Oh, okay, she's good, she's good, she's good. Oh, oh, okay, she just went for it. She just went for it. She has a mind of her own. Um, I'm, oh, Kirsten needs a guided mode. I do, I do. This is why I enjoyed the newer ones as well, because it's like, if you were struggling, it was like, you have to go this way. Um, I'm someone who hates being put in unfamiliar situations, being left in a to get a taxi to the main to the train station and then from Perth to Fremantle. The night before I flew home from Australia was very stressful. Yeah, I know what you mean, Bujin. Like me getting, I've never got an Uber before ever, and um, I was so scared. I was just like, oh my goodness, like I've no, you know, what if I get in the wrong one? What if I just go and get in like a random car thinking it's an Uber? And I was just like, yeah, I was panicking, but it was fine. He was really, really lovely. Apart from the fact I cut my nose open on his car throwing my suitcase into the back of the boot and I headbutted the little like um like the lid of the boot and cut my nose open I think you might see it in some of my videos and my stories it's healing a bit better now but um yeah it was really it hurt <laughs> so I was like great I have to go and do something tomorrow and I'm gonna turn up with a massive slice on my nose I was going to do a round trip to Los Angeles for work last year but E3 was cancelled oh that sucks oh dear Never a dull moment with you, is it, Kess? No, Dino, there's always something going on. There is always something. Oh, no, turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. Yeah, there's always something going on, whether I'm having like a panic attack or a midlife crisis or injuring myself in some way. Um, I remember at one of my old jobs, um, <laughs> they had to give me like this safety knife for like cutting open boxes um, because on my first day I managed to slice my leg open as well as slice my hand open um, even though I was doing things properly like literally I cannot be trusted with anything I've cut my hand open on a hair bubble like one of these I've cut my hand open with a hair bubble I'm the biggest klutz in the universe, okay? I cannot be trusted with anything. So, uh, yeah, there is never a dull moment when I run like, One minute I can be absolutely fine, and the next minute I'm literally, like, walking downstairs, like, um, I might need to go to the hospital because I've just cracked my face open. On what? Oh, well, I just bent down to tie my shoelaces. <laughs> Smashed my face on the bloody cabinet or something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's all, it's it's bad. It's bad. Those are called battle scars, Kirsten. They are out my battle scars. I just wish I had a better story for them. Like you know, if I see this, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I got into a, a fight with someone, and like you know, the one on my forehead. Oh yeah, you know, I, I tackled a tiger or something. And it's like, no, I fell over and hit my face on the you. on the wall when I was a uh, a, a toddler. Um, whacked my face on a car door lid, tr trucking my bag into the boot of a car slice my hand open on a hair bubble like they're not they're not cool stories they're interesting but they're definitely not cool um someone someone just donated uh oliver thank you so much for the 100 bits thank you so much nice to see you hydrating i know i'm trying oliver it's getting there my skin is definitely starting to make a bit of a difference now so it's definitely working um how on earth did you manage that but basically mcgillinator like these ones um they don't have them but a lot of uh hair bubble it's very rare to get them nowadays because they're all done with this like um elastic uh, like plastic seal so it's like seamless but when I was in school a lot of the hair bubbles had like the the, uh, the metal connector on it and basically my hair is very very thick very very big so a lot of the time my hair bubbles just snap because they cannot hold the weight of my hair um, so I was trying to put my hair up and as I was stretching the um, hair bubble it snapped but the metal of the hair bubble hit my thumb 
so hard because of how much hair, how much pressure it was holding. It hit it so hard that it just sliced my thumb open. My thumb just like exploded. And I remember thinking like, ow, that hurt. And it was only when I was like shaking it and like blood kind of splattered on my face and like onto my desk and stuff. And I realized I was like, have I seriously just sliced my thumb open with a hair bubble? And then not only that, because my hair was so big, um, I had to then try, I think I managed to find like a bit of like shoelace or something and I had to tie my hair up like a shoelace because I didn't have a spare hair bubble on me. My hair when I was younger was not really the sort of hair I could just have down naturally. It was so big and frizzy and back then it wasn't cool to be natural. You know, you had to have your hair straight all the time and it had to be peroxide blonde. So uh, yeah, a lot of time I just had my hair up and out of the way. And uh, yeah, so I was like, I need to put my hair up and I uh, had to tie it up with like a shoelace or something. But yeah, that is how I cut my hand open with a hair bubble. Only I could have done that. Oh dear. McGillinator, thank you so much for 31 bits. To be fair, you wouldn't be you if you weren't smacking your nose on car seats or cutting your hand on hair bubbles. <laughs> yes, exactly. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be me. Um, I remember this bit having to climb up something to get to. Oh, it's gonna be down the bottom, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, Daisy, that was one too many spikes in the gut. Okay, we did it. Okay. So maybe we had to get to here anyway. Agreed, been trying to stream myself, but I've had issues with the internet. I had so much. Yeah, I've been having real issues with the internet as well. Lara's journal. What was that? There journal. must be a way to open this door. Well, that doesn't help me at all, Lara. Thank you for your thoughts, though. Um, this way. So in other words, you're saying you can't be trusted alone. Got it. No, I definitely can't be trusted alone. I actually almost panicked the other day because um, I was really, really hungry. So I made myself a wrap and I had my daughter at home. And, you know, she was, you know, bear in mind, she's like still very young. So I was trying to keep an eye on her, make sure that she doesn't choke on her food. And um, I got very excited to eat my food and had way too big of a bite and just kind of swallowed it whole. Very almost choked and had the realization of if I choke at home by myself, just with my, my child with me, there is no one to help me. Like I can't, she can't call like the police or an ambulance or whatever. So yeah, I, I always have these little moments where I have these like near death experiences and I'm like, that was really stupid. I'm gonna take smaller bites from now on. Like I'm not going to, um, you know, look down for a, all of one millisecond when driving a car because apparently that's all it takes to get into a very near car crash. Like it's just, yeah, it's, it's all a learning experience for me, and I do become overly cautious because of it. Um, and there's so many people that I've like, they've seen me do something like in a weird way, or like see me be sort of overly cautious, and they're like, oh, you know, it's not gonna happen. Like, they were so stupid, and I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's me. If it can happen, it will happen to me. And it has almost happened to me. So this is why I take this this over precaution with everything I do. Because, you know, if someone is going to cut their hand open on a hair bubble, it's going to be me. If someone is going to choke on a sandwich, um, it's going to be me. That's just how <laughs> my life works. So I have to be so overly cautious with everything that I do. Because, um there's just a chance that I might accidentally kill myself. Um, I think I've got to jump onto that. I have a scar on my chest from an operation uh, and last summer I had a kid ask me what it was. So me being me said because I'm ginger, they tried to give me a soul and the scar is left because it escaped. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is fantastic. Um, I love when people make up stories about scars. Like my um, partner has a scar um, on, behind his ear. Um, and the true story is, and he's gonna hate me for telling this, the true story is, is that he was being an idiot when he was younger. And you know when they set, they tell you that when you're using a cotton bud, you're not supposed to run around because it's very dangerous that you might fall on it and you might um, hurt yourself. Um, yeah, he, oh, oh crap. Um, he uh, did that. Um, fell on a cotton bud, uh, injured his, um... I can't jump to here though. Oh, crap. Wait, I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused. 
I've done this wrong. I think I've done this wrong. I don't know, I might still have time. I don't think I do though. Move, Lara. Um, yeah, so basically when they tell you not to put a cotton bud in your ear and run around and be silly um, because there's a chance that you might fall on it and uh, burst your eardrum. Um, yeah, that does happen. So yeah, me and my, my partner are a fantastic couple where um, we are having to be overly cautious with the things we do because uh, anything that could happen to us will. <laughs> so that's why we have to be, especially with him, I have to make sure I'm like, don't do this because like, trust me, it will happen. It's us. Um, yeah, so don't do that. But he tells people all sorts of stories because he's had to have like operations on his ear to try and like restore his eardrum and his hearing and stuff, which um, hasn't worked. Um, but when people ask him about the scar, like he uh, says that he got it in like a boat crash, which to be fair, he was in a boat crash, but he didn't get a, uh, like an injury like that from it. Um, but that's what he tells people. He's like, oh, I got it in a boat crash. Or he tells them that he got like, he got it in a brawl and an attack. And, and yeah, he says all sorts of stuff. So, um, but I get it because telling people that is, um, sounds better than telling them that actually you were just being really, really silly and um, fell on a cotton bud because you were being really, really stupid. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love my partner to pieces, but um, sometimes, oh crap, was that not it? Sometimes he does do things that I... What just happened? I thought I just fell through the earth, but okay, I might be able to come here. There we go. There we go. Never mind. We got him. We got him. Know the feeling, Katsuri. If it's going to happen, it will. I managed to scratch my eyeball whilst walking past a tree, tore a tendon stepping off a trailer hitch, and tore an Achilles tendon doing star jumps. I, I think maybe I would say that it's getting old, and getting old definitely doesn't help because I managed to give myself whiplash yesterday trying to teach my daughter how to do a roly-poly. Uh, apparently even I can't do them or I can't do them anymore. My whole neck clicked and I felt sick for the rest of the day. So yeah, injured myself doing that. That's just part of getting old and you definitely do get more injuries as you get older, trust me. Um, and especially when you aren't um, taking care of yourself like I haven't been and you um, just don't get much exercise or anything like that. So you're not strengthening your muscles in general. Um, but yeah, uh, I was, you know, I can say that, oh, it's about getting old, but no, I was still, I was still injuring myself um, as a young'un, so. Um, just one of those people I think this game is probably more difficult than the original yeah I think I'm starting to agree with you here Stephen anything that can happen will happen yes exactly that's the way you've got to think of it anyway that's the way that I always go into things is uh, anything that can happen will happen and that's why I try to be overly prepared um, you know when I went to uh, London the other day I had a bag full of paracetamol blister plasters um, normal plasters I you know when they say sort of women sort of pack for every sort of situation when they travel it's because again you don't know what's going to happen you might put on a pair of shoes thinking that they're super comfy and they're going to be fine and by the end of the day your feet are bleeding so you know you've just got to protect yourself am I not supposed to be getting over there I feel like I am but where do I go from here? Then that's not going to take me over there, is it? Wait, is that the way the bear died? Oh, I can't remember. I thought the bear died over here. Oh, that's not the right way. Okay. E. <laughs> um, no, so that's not right, is it? How do I get over there then? Hmm. Thanks, Dina. Now it's it. Now it's going to be me it's gonna be stuck in my head you guys always get these stuff stuck in your head though old folk for the win hey tomo how's it going a friend of mine once said don't get old just die oh nice al i'd rather not i'd rather live for as long as possible i want to be a vampire um but hey well i'm a zombie queen so i'll try and live as long as i can and take over the world um better be to better to be prepared than not yes exactly anything can happen will happen isn't that chaos theory yes it is chaos theory and i believe in chaos theory um i have experienced it myself <laughs> Lara climbing my Lara climbing my knob. Nice kebab, Gary. Nice. Um, uh, hmm. I'm gonna try and jump this way. I don't think this is right. Oh no, I guess it is. Okay. I did think that it just seemed very impossible for me to get jump that far. What's down here? What's down here? Paper bag, hello, how's it going? 
Uh, I always carry plasters and paracetamol and ibuprofen. I suffer from migraines regularly, so it would be my luck that I'd get one miles away from her. And yeah, it's, I, I've learned that as well. Like, I definitely, um, t again, tend to injure myself a lot more as I'm older, and it doesn't take a lot for me to end up, like, giving myself a migraine or tweaking my neck or something. Um, but I always used to, like, get caught short where I would put on a pair of shoes thinking that they're, like, oh, these are the shoes I'm going to wear today because they are comfy, and then it turns out, like, no. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. There we go. Um, that was a good shot. Yeah, I I, I remember once um, when I was a teenager, I wore these really nice like platform sneakers, and they were like really cute, and I loved them, and they were my favourite. Um, but selection points. Oh, I don't have anything to go there. Um, it was like a really hot day, and I'm guessing like my feet swelled up or something. I can't shoot in that, can I know? Um, I, I think my feet like swelled up or something and um, yeah, by the end of the day I was in agony because my feet had swelled up on shoes that were all really relatively tight um, and they had just swollen up completely and I was just in agony and I remember like we were like hobbling along trying to find a shop that I could buy um... There we go. Um, that I could buy um plasters in because I was just so in so much pain and I think I managed to find them but part, but you know when it just gets past that point of like you can make it a tiny bit more comfortable but you're still going to be in agony because it's just completely torn up your feet um I was yeah I was at that point and it was just it wasn't fun but I've had way too many experiences like that where I've just been in agony with blisters and shoes just not not fitting um oh crap how do I go up there we go um, and yeah, it's just not fun and it's just better to just be prepared. Because life is too short to be in pain. But yeah. She's got it, she's got it, she's got it. She's not got it! Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, so I can shoot that open, okay. There we go. Oh, at least she moves these a lot better now. These are a lot easier to move compared to the original. There we go. Upsy daisy. Get all the med packs we can get, love. Trust me. <laughs> You're gonna need them. Oh dear. Hey paper bag, how's it going? I have Spider-Man backpack that's basically my survival pack. Yeah, why not? I'd love to get like a little uh, backpack like she has and have that like, as like my little emergency like mini uh, med pack. But I don't think that it's even big enough for a mini med pack to be honest. It's so tiny. There we go, I've got, oh, shotgun ammo. Hopefully we'll get a shotgun soon then. Was raised in the Aussie bush, was raised to treat the world like it's trying to kill you, because it probably is. Oh, it definitely is, Colleen, it definitely is. The only scars that I have are from knives, swords, or fighting when I was young. What what sort of thing were you up to when you were <laughs> young, Shadow Rise? Were you like a ninja? Yeah, don't mind me, I was just, uh, whatever, whatever scars I have, it's got from uh, n n knife wielding and fighting. <laughs> Oh, actually, I think there's something up here if I, uh... I think he might have been training to be like a samurai or something, Shadow Rise. Which is actually very, that's very cool, but it sounds very dangerous. Get in that hole. Get in the hole. Ah! Just drag you through then. Now, come on, you are big enough. You, you are small enough. Come on. Left a bit, right. It's like they're seen in Austin Powers. <laughs> Australian bush it will kill you. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger though. Yes, exactly. Well, I hope so. <laughs> it's the way I like to think of things, but I feel like sometimes... I think it makes you stronger as a person, but sometimes it might not make you physically stronger. <laughs> but definitely, willpower-wise, it definitely does. I feel there's something I need to get off my chest that I've been waiting a while to say. Okay, Kibble. Okay. We're prepared for this. Come on then. What's what's the news? Tell me why. <laughs> oh no. Big ass spiders make me into the world's biggest sissy, Dino. For some reason my auto mod has held your comments because it said ass. But uh yeah, well thank you Al for permitting it. We don't mind a bit of ass talk here. I mean, well, we, look, most of us don't. Apparently there was someone last time uh, on the last stream that I did. What am I? Grab by an enemy, use the movement keys. Movement keys? 
Do you mean this? Why, why am I stuck? There we go. Oh. I am really stuck. I can't see a thing. Okay, hang on. This is way too dark. I don't know if you guys can see, but I definitely cannot. Um, let's bring the brightness up a tad. My goodness. There we go. Blimey, I could not see a thing. Um, yeah, there was someone like last time that like complained. They were like, I'm gonna unfollow you because your channel's too like rude for me. And we all we said was boob. Like that's all we said. Like, you know, <laughs> I think I said boob and bummage. That, uh, you know, I wasn't even being like, I could have been way more crass, crass, crass. Um, but yeah, we said boob and bummage and um, apparently that's, that's too much for some people. <laughs> so uh, yes, uh, we don't mind a bit of ass. A bit of ass talk. Literally part of my job is to uh, take pictures of me in lewd poses and show my big old butt. So uh, yeah, it's not offensive to me at all to talk about butts. As long as you're not being rude towards me in general, that's fine. Or anyone else, to be honest. I remember that le Len leaving because it was too- Yeah, that was it, Kill. Well, he said, your channel's too sexual for me. And I was like, oh, good thing you're not on my Patreon then, on my Instagram. Literally, it was like, all we said was, oh yeah, there's a bit of boobage and bummage. He said, your channel's too sexual. I thought, really? <laughs> no, I'm not going to make that, am I? You're not going to make it, Lara. Okay, she made it. Jesus Christ. I have a scat fetish and I feel offended. What do you mean? Is it a scat fetish? Is scat like... Is that not scat? Is that sc scatting? Is that scatting? I don't know. You spin... Oh, you guys, stop sp Stop singing songs. You're going to get them stuck in my head again, as usual. Uh, we're going to take a mini one. There we go. Oh, maybe we should take a bigger one. Boobs! <laughs> The female body, guys. It shouldn't offend anyone. Don't think people want to see my boob or bum itch. <laughs> I'm sure someone does, Dino. You can call yourself short there, buddy. Kirsten can scat. That's all I know. It's, -bop -bop. it's like an episode of uh, The Office when he's like, good scat, man. He's like, oh, thanks. But I think I said Scooby at one, do at one point instead of Doobie. And he looks down on his list, like on his uh, like um, lyrics. So he's actually written down stuff to say for like scatting. <laughs> I just thought it was really funny. Ah, there we go. Saw your Instagram video and it's her bra and it's flesh tone. Yeah, no, actually, I, I agree with you there, Mr. Meeseeks. But I think somebody else actually messaged me. I think, which is something I else I didn't realise, she's wearing like a um, like a uni, like a, a leotard or like a unitard thing underneath, uh, like a swimsuit sort of material. She's wearing that underneath uh, or over the top her uh, of her uh, leggings and stuff. And I think it's that. Someone said, oh, she's got like a pink leotard on, and I think it's that. And I think that they're right. But it just really caught me off guard because I think as they pull her, to, we're talking about Ghostbusters, by the way. There's a bit where. Um, Sigourney Weaver's character Dana, she gets, uh, she's like on this chair and all these hands come up and grab her, but one of the hands kind of pulls her top down. And I was watching it with my family the other day with like my dad and I was like, did her boob just come out? Because like, I think where one of the hands are positioned, it kind of looked like her nipple. And I was like, oh my goodness, like I never noticed her boob come out. Um, but yeah, and um, there was a lot of people that were like, oh no, I think it's her bra. But yeah, I think whoever it was that messaged me, I think they were right. I think it's actually the leotard. She's got like a pink leotard on underneath and that's why it's like so seamless. Um, and I think that's why I thought it was like her um, her actual boob. But yeah, I think it is actually a leotard that she has underneath. But I was just really like, how I've never noticed that. It just seemed very like sexual um, considering the, the nature of the movie. But then people did point out that Dan Aykroyd um, does get a um, sexual favor from a ghost in that movie. So yeah, actually, um, maybe it isn't too sexual for that film. And they do obviously swear a lot as well. So uh, I think they swear anyway, but I don't know. I guess I just have very fond childhood memories of Ghostbusters and then now we're thinking about the fact that, yeah, like there is like a uh, Dan Aykroyd getting a sexual favor from a ghost and Sigourney Weaver's boob popping out. I was like, ah, yeah, no, this film is a lot more adult than I remember, <laughs> but hey. Watched Ghostbusters countless times since I first saw it in 1984, and I've never noticed that either. Yeah, I literally have never, the amount of times I've watched Ghostbusters, never noticed it until the other day, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I think it was because I was paying attention to her outfit, because I was like, well, I really like her, um, <gasps> the outfit that she had on. Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Um, 
because uh, I love that really like relaxed sort of 90s leisure athleisure or whatever you call it um and then yeah I was just, and then yeah I noticed that she had like a leotard underneath and I was like oh she's got a leotard underneath and then I noticed that her boob like popped out and I was like oh my goodness Whew, damn Lara has a nice rack. she does she does have a very nice uh, rack it's, she, her, it's even bigger in this one I think out of all of the games I think this is the biggest chest biggest chesticles that she has in all of the games is in this one oh, goodness sake oh <laughs> damn you Lara Oh, pff, I was trying to read someone's comment and I'm just walking into a wall. It's definitely not as finicky as it was before, but the, the, the controls are still a tad finicky compared to, you know, nowadays. Oh no, I want to get that. Oh, crap. oh, shot too soon. Shot too soon. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> a panic shot. Okay up bloody all this to pick up freaking shotgun cell shells and I do not have the shotgun yet I missed the shotgun I just oh up here there we go nope yeah no over here follow me um oh for goodness sake <laughs> just want to read a comment Lara! I remember this being an issue in this game. Because the textures are a lot better. You hit on uh, hit on the bloody rocks that are around. There we go. There we go. Right. <laughs> Sexual ghost. Um, wiggle time! Thank you so much, Kibble. Uh, I will do that in one second. Camphor Dropsy, hello! Or oh, drop set, sorry. Camphor drop set. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? We are good. How are you? Um, blah, 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 blah. we all shoot too soon sometimes. <laughs> very good, Kibble. Very good. <laughs> oh, that must have been painful. Also, I've cut the end of my pinky finger with a machine saw in school. Ouch! Ouch! You get the shotgun from Daniel Craig. Okay, good. I, at least I'm. At least I know that. I, I had a feeling that was probably the, the uh, the sitch. But I just wanted to check. Oh, actually, I do need to stretch. Oh, okay. Time for a wiggle, everyone. Come on, do it with you. It's a wiggle time. It's a wiggle time. It's a, you can see my like, the actual full extent of my really cute top now. It is adorable. I do love it. And then my lovely star trousers. <laughs> Doesn't have to match as long as you feel sexy. <laughs> and a shake, and a shake, and a shake, and a shake, and a shake the booty, a shake the booty, a shake the booty, a shake the booty. You guys better be wiggling as well. That is the rules. The rules of wiggle time is that when I wiggle, you shall wiggle with thee. <laughs> It is warm though, it is warm. Wiggle Redemption was certainly popular during Kirsten's Lara at the Gym cosplay. It was, it definitely was. <laughs> Lara at the Gym was uh, was a popular wiggle time. Whoopsie daisy. Whoa, okay, wasn't ready to jump, but okay, that's fine, that's fine, we saved it. We saved it, we redeemed ourselves. Oh, it always makes me think that she she must be grazing her shins when that happens, because, ouchies. Ugh. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What's happening? Um. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Hold on to this if I Oh, there. There we go. I do actually have a uh, Lara Croft um, cosplay planned. I just need to. Oh, this is gonna hurt me. Can I not jump to. Oh, I can. Okay, good. There we go. There we go. That's one way of doing it. It's fine. The Wiggle Queen has spoken. <laughs> this is Jess. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Nice pants, Nat. <laughs> Nat. Ah, oh, I like them. I like them, kebab. I like them. Uh, 
Oh, why is things getting blurry? More? Oh, okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> Hydrate, I shall, Dino, thank you very much. Haven't had a wiggle in weeks, not a euthanism. <laughs> I'm surprised she has any shins left. I know what you mean. Like, how is it just not down to the bone at this point? Yes, I would like to over, over, over right. Right. I heard, uh, I heard an hour, hour. Can I get an hour, hour? Oh, ah, oh, okay. We're on the cog level, guys. So hopefully we'll have a, a better time with it this time around <laughs> compared to, ah, oh, get up. What's going on? Oh, apparently I've been, what? You did not have me. I'm on a rock. Okay, there we go. Right. First of all, I'm going to dive into here and see if my theory is correct that there is a cog down here or there's something down here. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I have been living a lie forever. I am gonna die though. Oh no, she's good, she's good. Oh no, huh? Yes, okay, there we go. No, okay, I thought that was a cog for a second. I was like, oh my goodness, it's not, it's not a cog at all. Uh, but it is something else I need. Go, Lara, go. Go, Lara, go. T-Rex soon. I know I'm excited to see a, uh, well, I say a, a high-res T-Rex, but I know it's not going to be the highest of res. <laughs> I think I've had this game on Steam for about seven years now. I've never actually played it. Yeah, this is why I got it on Steam as well. What the fuck was Lara just doing? Oh, I think it's, um, she was on the rock, but I think she was bitten by the, um, the wolf. And so she was like trying to fight him off, but yeah, he, she definitely was not bitten by a wolf there at all. This game is very glitchy. I think actually having it on an emulator would be less glitchy than it is on Steam at the moment, but hey. They were very cheap on Steam and I was excited to play them. This way, this way, this way. There we go. Okey -dokey, okey -dokey. Ah, yes, here we go. This is starting to look familiar. <laughs> like today's look, I must admit. Thank you so much, Kibble. I'm liking today's look too. I'm liking, I'm loving the blonde. I absolutely am loving the blonde at the moment. I cannot wait for more blonde wigs to arrive. Um, I do also have some hair things arriving to try and see if I can get my hair looking a little bit lighter um, see how well that goes I've done it a couple of times before um, I just didn't kind of commit to it I sort of went for this ombre look which kind of went like a gingery color which was fine but I do want to kind of go more of an actual like a proper um, proper kind of blonde color like something that when you look at it, it is recognizable as blonde um, ah, this way there we go so I'm going to try and do it myself because obviously there is no salons open at the moment. Um, okay, there we go. That was close, that was close. Um, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Like everyone was just like, no, don't do it yourself. It's going to go wrong. <laughs> so completely going against what everyone has told me to do and just going to try and do it myself. Anyway, um, my mum is a hairdresser though. So I have had the kind of training, um, you know, not properly, but I've had some training in that area so um we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes if it goes wrong i can just ask my mum to fix it <laughs> all right there we go next one we got it we got it they're all on sale on whoops a humble bundle there we go Bloody, like jesus they're so scary <laughs> Blonde is awesome. Love the look for the Spider Gwenom cosplay too. Thank you so much. I'm going to be shooting that today, actually. After I've done with this, I'm going to be shooting a Gwenom cosplay as well as a Sherry from Resident Evil 6 cosplay. Um, I'm still waiting on a couple more cosplays that I have ordered to arrive. So um, I'm hoping they'll be here 
relatively soon. Um, they might be taking a little while, but um, yeah. I've also ordered a uh, someone from The Witcher. I don't know. I've never actually played The Witcher, but someone their, people always tell me to cosplay this like one character with um, like uh, she has silver hair. Is it Siri? I want to say it's Siri. Um, yeah, I've ordered her, but she's not going to be here until next month, so that's going to be for next month's cosplay. But uh, yeah. Uh, that core I mentioned earlier can allow up to 16 players if you wanted a massive community game at one time. That's really cool, Kibble. You definitely have to link it to me, because that sounds really fun. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I went ginger, it's kind of just faded and stayed at the same time, so it's kind of gone all gingery brown, which I like. Yeah, that's what I mean. My, kind of, my natural hair colour is kind of like an auburn um, colour, so... Should I just jump into the... Oh, no, she's not going to... Ah, shoot. Um, yeah, my natural hair colour is like auburn, and uh, so I have a lot of red in my, in my hair anyway. Um, but yeah, I would really like to try and get it like more of a kind of like blondy colour, maybe try and get a bit of ash. Um, tones in there. I kind of want it to stay relatively warm, but I am liking these sort of like um, kind of not grey, but like a cooler tone, like this sort of tone. It's like it's it's got you know some warmth to it at the top, but it's not it's not like peroxide blonde. You made the spider you made the Spider-Man fan very happy with your Gwen <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, very excited to uh, to shoot it today. Um, again, I bought this wig thinking it was just I was like, oh it's just cheap, it might look really crap, and then I tried it on, I was like, oh no, this is gonna look really cool. Um, and then tried on my uh, actual Gwen uh, morph suit. I've never had a morph suit before. Um, so glad that my partner's home today because I had trouble getting that thing on. So um yeah, I'm excited. I'm mean, really excited to do some really cool cosplays. I've got some photos saved for inspiration for like poses. Um, I want to try and get some really cool action shots. Um, as well as like do some really cool makeup looks with it where like sort of Venom is kind of taking over a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm excited. where that thing just came down. Gwenom is cool but was hoping for Silk. I kind of know who Silk is, I think, but I don't remember. To be honest, people were asking for um, Spider-Gwen, but I just love Venom so much. He's one of my favorite um, Spider-Man characters and uh, I did a, I think I did a, a She-Venom cosplay briefly and um, absolutely loved it. So when people asked for Spider Gwen, I was like, well, why don't I do a Gwen? And then it's best of both worlds then. Um, and I can do some really cool looking cosplay shoots with it. And so, yeah, that's what I ended up going for. So I thought at least that way, it's like best of both worlds. So someone will, <laughs> someone will like it. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna look really, really cool. I'm really impressed with the morph suit. I was just really annoyed because on the, um, I mean, it was only a cheap one anyway, so I wasn't expecting too much, but I was quite surprised with the actual morph suit itself. But it was supposed to come with a mask that was, um, that actually had like the, the eyes, uh, like the venom eyes on it. And uh, yeah, it was this tiny little mask, which is like one, not even physically possible to see through two way too small and three had no eyes whatsoever not even like eyes cut out of it so um yeah was a bit disappointed in that considering it said that it came with a cowl uh that had um I oh eyes attached really lara really you gonna do me like that do you have any elf ear tips pretty sure you can get them online and they are great for adding yes i do actually i have a pack of two um i wore them for my elf on a shelf cosplay around christmas time um yeah i do have some i think they're in my drawer somewhere and uh yeah they're really really cute but i just haven't actually had an opportunity to cosplay anyone with kind of elvish ears apart from my elf on the shelf cosplay so <laughs> that's the only time i've worn them so far Morph suit not good on. Um, I've tried it. Oof. Yeah, like they're they're okay on. Don't get me wrong. I put it on and I was like, oh, what? Like it's very flattering for the figure. But my god, is it difficult? Because like, obviously you have something like going over your hands, so you completely lose all grip um, for your fingers. 
So I'm trying to like zip up this zip and it's just not, I can't grab onto the zip whatsoever. So uh, yeah, and it had two zips cause it's got like a zip for the actual morph suit and then it had like a zip for the, the hood that goes over the top. So I was just I sh struggling. I think I ended up doing it eventually, but um, yeah, I'm just glad that I have someone home to actually help me zip up because there is no way that I would have been able to do that. I, I think I would have been able to do it eventually, but I would have been, you know, it gets to the point where you're like, I don't even want to wear this now. Like, I'm so agitated. <laughs> there we go. But it was good. Tom Hardy killed it in his role. Um, yeah, I I thought he did amazing as a uh, as uh, Venom. I, I I'm a big fan of Tom Hardy, and I thought he did a really good job as Venom. Uh, I really enjoyed the Venom film. I thought it was funny. It was nice to actually see, see Venom actually get proper kind of representation um, in film format. Uh, that isn't sort of um, Spider-Man 3 version, which I still enjoyed, but I just think Tom Hardy's version was just so much better. It just made him so much more badass. Plus, we got the uh, Venom Eminem song, which I quite enjoy because it just gets stuck in your head. Just Venom. Uh, is this, should I be putting stuff in this, or, okay, hang on, so that takes me over there, oh, error, <laughs> what did I say it like that, error, <laughs> was there a need for me to do that, was there a need for speed, did I just kind of ruin that for me? confused as to where this is t supposed to take me. Yep, she's not, no, that wasn't, ah! Hmm. <laughs> she just dive bombs. How do I get over to the other side? How do I get over here? Let's try this side instead now. I don't think that we're gonna get much further now. Pile of bodies, pile of heads. I feel like that's probably a quote and I just don't remember. I've only seen Venom once and I remember I really enjoyed it. Plus, plus we did get a bit of She-Venom in it. So I was really happy. Um, oh yeah, that's probably why I need those. What's this? Oh, there we go. Now do your thing. Yay! Venom stole uh, stole the show. I will wreck people with Venom. <laughs> can can still grapple over. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I always liked the Venom in the PS1 Spider-Man games. He was so beefy. He was. He was huge and beefy. I love him in that. Although, I um, tried to play that um, Spider-Man uh, recently, and I got stuck on that Venom chase level. I think it glitched out, and um, I was oh, shoot. Um, yeah, I was getting so angry because like, I love Venom. He's one of my favorite characters. But um, when you hear him say the same thing over and over again, it, uh, it, yeah, you, you kind of learn to despise him a little bit. I was like, oh, I swear to God. Like it's the bit where you're going through, oh crap, I should have put the thing on there. Um, it's when you're going through, yeah, it's like there's a bit where you're going through this uh, building and uh, he's like, excuse me, pardon me. And, um, there's this woman she's like oh my goodness and the amount of times i heard that woman say that oh <laughs> um yeah basically my game just glitched out where there's that part when you when you get through that bit with the woman going oh my goodness um you kind of get brought out to the end of the building and you're supposed to carry on chasing um venom but for some reason my game just glitches out where it, it spider-man suddenly just crawls against the wall instead of like running out after venom he decide like it takes all um sort of control away from me as the player and he just decides to um he just decides to just crawl up the wall for no reason he's not supposed to do that but for some reason he just does <gasps> ah no 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 <laughs> 
Uh, have you tried a black cat cosplay? No, but I um, really would like to. She was one of the ones that um, when I first started getting into cosplay, I was like, oh, I'd really love to um, cosplay as black cat. So yeah, she's on my list of things to cosplay, but um, I'm trying to stay relative, relatively relevant with cosplays, uh, with things that people are kind of seeing and want to see. Um, but then saying that, I have been sort of doing cosplays that I have always wanted to do. But um, yeah, I've been trying to do cosplays that I know that you guys want to see or that you guys have suggested, so. I will read that in one second, Joker. I'm just, I need to concentrate. Oh, that you've been, oh, you resubscribed. Thank you so much. I've just seen that. That's what that was. Oh, no, stop. I'm panic jumping. I'm panic jumping. Oh, always hated the sewer level where it says it's, where it says hot and cold. I always get lost. Yeah, see, I remember getting to that level. I do remember getting past um, and getting to like these levels, but for some reason, just that venom level just glitched out on me. Oh, no. Right, so I need to go to the... Let's go to the other side. I need to get to... The dinosaur level, don't I? So I need to get over there, I think, again. Yeah. Don't die. <laughs> Can we get a Deadpool cosplay? I really want to do a Lady Deadpool cosplay as well as a, um, a Gwenpool cosplay, actually. Um, so yeah, there's definitely ones that I uh, have in mind. It's just, again, trying to get hold of the, um, the cosplay materials. Um, some of them I can get hold of, um, but with a lot of them, I do want them to be relatively spot on because I have made a lot of my cosplays in the past, but I'm not very experienced at it. And if it is quite an in-depth cosplay, I want it to be pretty accurate. Um, you know, sometimes you can kind of do your own take on it or like a casual take on it, but I want to do like a proper, a proper take on some of these cosplays. Almost there. You got it, Lara girl. Ugh. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought it was gonna collapse, I panicked. Please do Deadpool, Catwoman, Gwenpool. Um, yes, there is a Gwenpool, but it's not Gwen Stacy, um, which I thought was very interesting when I was looking up different variations of Gwen Stacy, because I want to try and do some of those, because I saw there was a, oh God, what are you doing? There we go. Um, I saw there was like a Gwen Stacy as like Captain Marvel or something the other day, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I remembered that there was a Gwenpool, so I decided to look her up. But what's interesting is that Gwenpool isn't Gwen Stacy. It is actually a soul character called Gwen Paul. Um, and uh, she got like struck into like the Marvel Universe one day or something. And so she just decided to become a um, superhero. And so she becomes Gwen Paul because she's inspired by like Deadpool and stuff. And she's really cute. She's got like a little sort of like, um, what's the word? Like a like a play suit, like a, a pink version of Deadpool, but like as a play suit. And I think she's supposed to be relatively young and it was just, it was just really cute. Oh, you got me. Oh, pistol ammo. I thought we were getting magnum ammo for a second there. Um, ugh, there we go. Poison Ivy from Harley Quinn cartoon would be great for you. Yeah, there's a few like from the um, cartoons that I'd really like to try. Um, Especially as I keep seeing this thing on Netflix for like um like I think it's called like DC superheroes or something like that And it's like a really it's like for kids, but it's like um got these really cute little alter alternate sort of versions of um, like Harley Quinn and um, Batgirl and Poison Ivy and it was just it was just really cute and I really liked their little outfits Can I not pick up any more? Oh, no um, okay, so it's gonna be a, Oh, that was How not fortunate for you. Yeah, yeah uh, a question for you, Kirsten. With your cosplay, what cosplay has taken you the longest to do? Um, with cosplay, what cosplay has taken you longest to do? And with cosplay, to, and what cosplay took you the least to do to put together? Um, so far, um, the one that took me the least amount of time was my Fallout cosplay because that was one that I bought, and the one that actually took me the longest um, was I did a Piranha Peach. Um, version like a uh, it was something I saw online it was like an artwork that I saw and I thought it looked really cool and so I decided to do this piranha peach but of course there wasn't a costume so I had to buy um, all of the materials I bought all of this ivy and um, I bought uh, this like swimsuit and I had to stick 
um, leaves and stuff to it. So that one definitely took a couple of days to do, plus the fact that I had to um, sort out a... Oh, no. Um, I had to sort out a um, wig. I had to sort out makeup. I had to sort out the um, accessories. I had to take it on like a green, uh, blue screen because I couldn't take it on the green screen. And uh, yeah, it just took a lot longer, but it still didn't take too long. Um, to be honest, again, a lot of the ones that I have taken, I have made myself and a lot of it has just been a case of buying something that looks very similar to it and then just kind of either adjusting it in Photoshop or um, kind of adjusting it just quickly um, before I shoot. And I've only just started probably buying actual sort of costumes for, um, oh, I think I've got to go over here. There we go. Um, actual costumes from like costume websites. Like um, there's a costume website called Mick Costumes as well as a costumes site called just HalloweenCostumes.co.uk that I've ordered from. Um, and yeah, they're just, it's just a lot easier because I know I can get a costume that's spot on. And I feel like sometimes when you're doing cosplay and it is something that's quite intricate, you want it to be as um close to the character looks as possible unless like i said you're doing your own take on it like a casual version or a sexy version or um a swimwear version or an alternate reality version or something like you can kind of have a bit more creative liberty but if you are going for just like the the proper you know um version of that character i feel like it's just a lot easier to just fork out and buy the actual costume because there has been times when I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like, you know, spend 50, 60 quid on this costume that basically came with everything um, because I felt like that was really expensive. But then I've gone and tried to make the costume myself and it's actually ended up like with all the things I've had to buy, including like glue and accessories and, um, you know, clothing items and stuff like that. It ends up becoming round about the same sort of price anyway um, and doesn't look as good. So. Yeah, again, unless you want to create something that is... Are you really not gonna... Hmm. Um, yeah, unless you want to create something that is, like, very unique and want you want it to look different, then it's... I think it's just worth buying the actual costume itself. Hellhound, thank you so much for being subscribed for two months. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And Mr. Me Seeks has said to hydrate. Gwen Paul is from our real world who ended up in the Marvel main universe. Yes, that's the one. Al, thank you. I did Jesse once from Toy Story, coloured my hair red for it. it, was great, but the regrowth made me look like I was going bold with the baby blonde coming through. Oh yeah, that's the only problem, if you're naturally blonde and you dye your hair a different colour, it's so shocking to see. I remember there was this um, goth girl in my uh, school when I was in uh, a secondary school, and um, she was obviously naturally very, very fair, like if not w like white hair. and. Um, I get here? Did I? I'm a bit stuck. Am I supposed to be going up here and it's just glitched out because I can't, can't actually get up. Ah, maybe I was moving too fast. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, so she was a goth and she had dyed her hair black, which I think you would think as a blonde person with naturally very light hair, she even had like, it was almost like white, but um, you'd think that would be relatively easy to do because you're obviously putting the black on there. But like you said, it's the regrowth you don't expect. And I remember seeing her one day walk past and I had to like do a double take because I did think that she was balding because she'd let the regrowth grow to about here. So all I could see was like white and then it was just like black hair, but it looked like she had just like shaved off the top of her head. So you had to kind of do a double take and then be like, oh no, she's she's naturally blonde. Um, so yeah, I feel for you there. I have seen that in action and it is, uh, it is a bit like, whoa. <laughs> oh, where are you? Oh, you're behind me, okay. At least it's a lot easier to dodge. Oh gosh. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed. I missed. Come on. Okay, we got one, we got one. Okay, we got two, we got two. Three, okay. Uh, is there another one? Oh, there's more. Okay, there's way more raptors than there was in the original. I don't know why she's shooting the ones that are 
furthest away. And you do, you can't just hold a, hold it down like in the original. You do have to keep shooting. I missed, I missed, I missed. Crap. There's only a small, wait, stop. There's only a small window there, but there is. It looks like there's something over there which I really want to grab. Just die. Just die already. I'm sorry, Dino. I know I'm killing your fellow dinosaurs here. What is this? What is this? Oh. Okay. We're dealing with something. Lara, what are you doing, lady? I was going to cosplay as Squall Leonhart Lion? Leonhart? One year for a con that ended up having to cancel was so fun. I don't have any idea who that is, Dino, but I'm sure it was awesome. Cosplay does Battlestar Galactica's Viper pilot at a con years back before I grew the mohawk. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. It's just quick time events. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he just bit her face off. Okay, okay. Yeah, Dino, look away. Kirsten killing Dinos. <laughs> Going to go to Comic Con convent Comic convention. I know me and an old pal of mine have plans for ideas. Miss uh, I was, of course, going to be Mr. J. I remember having a bunch of little Batmans trying to fight me. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he was a character from Final Fantasy. How are we all? We are good. Hello, Sean. How are you? We are good. How are you doing, buddy? Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's let's face the other way. That's a good idea. Rage and health meters for some enemies are located. Okay, right. Okay. okay this is going to have to be a, a case of trying to get this this right. Don't seem to be doing a lot of damage. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. It'd be great if I had a shotgun right now. Are you stuck, buddy? It's okay. Hello. Come over here. I want to get this. <laughs> are you stuck? Oh, the, the dinosaurs are really glitching out in this game, but um. Come on, bud. Over here. Oh, oh god. Okay, I thought I thought he glitched out again, and I thought I had time to to move, but we did not. Um, Evdo, thank you so much for following. There we go. There we go. There we go. Aha. What are these things? I think it's just whip me with your tail. What is this? Ah! There we go. This is gonna be, this is gonna take a while if he's glitching out each time. Come on, buddy. I'm over here. I'll, I'll move for you. Come on. It's like he's nervous. He's like, give me time. I'll get there. Come on, bud. You got it. Come on, buddy! Are you stuck? I'll move you around. There we go. Is that enough room? Come on, buddy! Oh, you're really stuck, aren't you? What if I move over here? Can you turn around? You're stuck on something. You have to lure him into those spikes. Uh, I'll try, but he's not moving. Hang on. Are you coming? No. <laughs> hmm. We might have to restart. He, he's he's stuck. He is stuck there. Um. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Crap. I thought there was a way to just restart the level. Mm. Crap. 
Ah, okay. Well, we might have to leave that there because it has always been two hours. And I really don't want you guys to have to watch me do all that again. So I will try and redo that for next time and get to a checkpoint. Oh, that's really annoying. I thought that would just reload the save and I thought, I guess checkpoints are different to saves. That's annoying. That is really annoying. Can you... You can just say, I should have saved and... Um, ah. Okay, well, <laughs> there we go. That's just me being an idiot. Again, as I said before, whatever can happen will happen because it's me. So there we go. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. Um, So annoying. I don't know why. There's definitely some issues with this game. I might have a look and see if there's a mod or something I can put onto it that makes it run a little bit smoother, but... Definitely seems to be some issues going on here with um, things not working the way they should, such as the bats flying and dinosaurs getting stuck on invisible barriers. But yes, um, not sure why, but this music sounds like a Star Wars lightsaber duel. It was very intense, very intense. Um, try from the load option. Yeah, I did. It didn't work. <laughs> awesome stream. I've missed you over the last couple of weeks. So great to see you today. Oh, it was great to see you, Kalein. Um, oh, I'm going to just save here just in case something happens um because i think it's gonna freeze when i go on to edit something else um but yes it's been great to be back i'm so glad that we i want to kind of continue with this one um if i can get it fixed because even though it's buggy it's definitely easier to play than the original so we might be able to get a little bit further than what we were doing um and yeah the old one was getting very very hard it's a hard game to play in general anyway retro games are so much more difficult than the than the sort of remakes but um but yeah uh, this has still been challenging uh thanks to some annoying glitches so that's been fun but we are just gonna i'm just gonna have a look and see who is online that we can raid so let me just have a quick look have a quick look but thank you guys all so much for being here with me today because that has been amazing uh rach is online um, but so is Paige as well. So we might have to go and uh, raid Paige. Raid Paige! Because she is playing some Dark Souls. So that is going to be fun for you guys to watch. Because I know how intimidating and annoying that game can be. But thank you guys all so much for joining me today. For my first day back. So yeah, from now on I will be streaming Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. As well as doing a whole bunch of stuff on my Patreon. Um, that's basically what I'm going to be kind of focusing on is Patreon and my work over on Watch Mojo. So please go and check those out. I will put my socials in here now. So please go and follow me on those. You can support me on places like uh, Coffee as well if you'd really like to. But my main place uh, to sort of upload my content is Patreon. You can find a whole bunch of my cosplay photo shoots. I'll be doing a Gwen. Uh, Gwenum cosplay today as well as a bunch of Resident Evil stuff and much more to come So please go and check that out if that's the sort of thing you're into But you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff <gasps> Breathe um, But yes, we are gonna go and raid Paigey. So have a fantastic day everyone Thank you so much for your support and your love It's great to be back and I will see you guys on Thursday afternoon Bye